John, 12 Planet, from Los Angeles. Dude, dubstep has been here, basically. If you just like, name anyone in dubstep, like I'd say, okay, maybe not anyone. Top one, all the top 100 dubsteppers have been here. And I think that's just like, uh, this is the, the energy that comes from this place is what puts it back out in the universe and fucking makes it upset that much better. So we get a lot of people coming through, you know. Love it when Skrillex comes over. Love it when Nero comes over and flinch. My dogs. I probably would have worked, I would have done something with video games, I'm pretty sure of it. My last job was at a video game store. I think that was my only job. Never know what hit him. The moon. I want to play on the moon so bad. Uh, the bathroom. <laughs> My favorite club is Boyer in San Diego because they're awesome. A big bowl of awesomeness. I think the deal breaker is when someone crosses the line and that's kinda like if you get a someone throws a bottle at me, I'm probably gonna stop. If someone throws five bottles at me, I'm out of there. I'm not playing there. Chances are it's probably not the crowd to be playing in front of. I can tolerate one bottle. Scream, Rusco, Skrillex. I love those guys. I'm like, I'm easy, man. Like, I don't, it could be five people in my kitchen. And like, if the parties, if the vibes are right, I don't know, it's just about good vibes, good times, like positive energy. One hand clapping. I buy a lot of stuff off the internet, like songs and software. No, you know what? My greatest extravagance is my fucking phone bill. I spent so much money on that shit. What do I think of Skrillex winning three Grammys? That shit's dope. I think it's awesome. Couldn't have happened to a better person. It'll probably give it some more shine and people take notice and the markets will try and exploit it and you know but that's just the nature of the beast the biggest misconception is that DJs don't work hard <laughs> and that like they don't yeah is that they don't work hard fucking DJs work their ass off. Yeah, sit in the studio and make music and or go online and listen to music and pick it out and identify with the music and play. <laughs> it doesn't sound valid to my argument. <laughs> Fucking DJing's hard work, dude. Hmm. I think that the American scene now is at the biggest it's ever been for like bass and dubstep market. It's like everywhere. 
Like, and when I say everywhere, I mean like everywhere in America and North America. And um, in Europe, I don't think the attendance is as large for all artists that are bass artists, you know? But over here, there's like much more people that are involved. I think there's a lot more producers that are coming out of America now that are earning stripes and getting their name up. And it's just, I think overall, just with technology getting better, both, everyone's fucking going huge. Australia's going huge. Europe's going huge. South America's going huge. Canada's going huge. We're going huge. It's just game for anyone that wants to make music. I'm 12 Planet and you're watching One Beat. Thanks for coming to the compound guys. See you next time.